So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make a simple design using the blocks that we have uh, and then take that design and actually also make a PDF where we get different views. We've looked at these before, uh, but we want to see how is this actually made? How do we do this in Fusion 360? So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Fusion 360. I'm going to start a new uh, drawing and you can make sure that your document units, we're going to work in inches here, you click on document units, if they are in millimeters you can switch that to inch and then basically we start with a sketch, we click the sketch button, I'm going to click on this plane here, it's going to auto orient there and then I'm going to click on uh, rectangle and go down to center rectangle, I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to do one inch then tab one, hit OK and then finish sketch and it's going to auto rotate, I'm going to scroll with the mouse wheel, I'm going to click on that plane and then I'm going to hit E for extrude and we'll go up one inch and hit OK. So that's the hardest part. I've got a starting block and let's say that I want it to be a different color. I'm going to hit A. brings up this color menu and I can go, I can scroll down to paint and I'm just going to drag over the color. I'm going to drag red. It's made a red block. All right. So now what I can do is I can start to build other blocks. So let me click on a face that I want. I'm going to hit extrude for E. And I'm going to go one out. And the key is I don't want to join it. I want it to actually be a separate one. I'm going to hit new body and hit OK. And then maybe I click on this one. I'm going to hit extrude. I'm going to say new body. I'm going to go up one. I don't want to join. I want a new body. Hit OK. And then I'm going to extrude by one. And I want a new body. I hit OK. And let's see, I can click and move around. Uh, let's do one more. I'm going to here extrude one new body. I hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some different colors to those blocks. So I hit A again. There's that one. We'll make this one white. Uh, we'll make one of them green. And make this one black. Okay. So I've made my drawing, made my shape. I'm going to hit save. I'm call this block design number two. And at this point, I want to make my drawing. I want to get my plan set. So I'm going to go from design. I'm going to go down to drawing from design. And we want to change the sheet size from B to A. We're going to go 8.5 by 11. We could do bigger sheets, but we can't print those. So 8.5 by 11 is a good standard for us to work with. We hit OK. It's going to make this plan set here. And you're going to see it's giving me this option. It says this front piece. So I'm going to just click somewhere. And I'm going to say I can change the scale. 1 to 1 would be the real size. 1 to 4 would be smaller. 1 to 2 looks about right, and I can change the view. I could say I could do an isometric view. Um, I could do a top view. Uh, I'm just going to do the front for right now, and then I'm going to check shaded. Shaded is going to make it look like it was in our drawing. Hit OK. There we go. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to delete that. So that's not enough information to build this right now. So I can actually get different views from this parent view. I click on this projected view click on it. I'm going to go up to the left, to the right, and then below. Those are all my views. I can even pull off on a diagonal and I can start to see what would this shape look like from all of those sides. And then hit OK. So I get lots of different ways that this could look. That would give me enough information to build it. What I need next is are some dimensions. So let's say that I had a dimension. I click on dimension. I'll be able to, if I scroll in, click on the corners. Those are three. We know they are because we set it that way. And then this whole height, if I click on that to that, should be two. So I could do that for all of them. It's a little bit overkill for this one. It's a pretty simple one. Uh, but you can see I can't do it on the perspective drawing because those lines aren't, uh, they aren't correct. Like that one is at an angle, so it's actually different. So we can't pull that from there. Last thing we'd want to do is to add some text. So I'm going to just click on the text button, go to the corner, and I'm going to say drawn by enter. I could add more to this if I wanted. I'll just put that in the corner so I know that I have it. 
And then the last part, I'm going to save this. I'm going to say whatever I want to call it, block number two. And I'm going to hit export. And all sheets is fine. And I hit save. And if I wanted to find that, I'd see I put on my desktop, I would open it up and click on that PDF. And there it is. There's my PDF that I could print, give to somebody, and we have our design drawing.